Hi, I've got a clean and simple card for you today. And sometimes when I'm deciding which cards to demo, I think, hmm, the ones that make you think, how did she do that? I think sometimes that's the best type of demo. This one is really, really very simple, but I thought I'd show you the technique involved. We're going to be using the embroidered striplet, and that's going to show your main focal point. And then as an embellishment, we have the finishing touches faux quilled blooms that we'll be using, and I'll show you how to put those together as well. So to get started, I've actually stamped a sentiment onto my card already, and just in a black archival ink, and I've got just a white coconut white background. So I'm going to be using the embroidered striplet. Now these come in two pieces. So you've got the decorative insert with the outer edge, but for this card, we're just going to be using the decorative insert. And just so you get an idea that you don't have to use it as it is all the time, what I thought I would do is show you how to line it up and do part of a card top and bottom. So I've got my ruler here, and I'm just going to line that up with the edge where I want it, keeping that nice and straight, and put my striplet up next to it. And I think that's probably a nice spot. We're gonna tape it into place using our removable tape and just do the bottom of the card first. So let me get my cutting plate and the base plate, and we'll run it through the machine. Because you don't have to use your dies all the way, all the time. You can use it in pieces and cut sections of them. And there's different ways to do that. So you just think about your dies and look at them in a different manner. Sometimes you can come up with all sorts of fun ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and emboss this section. Pop that through our grand caliber. So let's just gently undo our tape here. We can reuse that. There it goes. And we've got the bottom part of that cut and it's even take away all the little bits for us already, okay? So now what I wanna do is take and line that up again with the top of it. So I'm gonna put my ruler back into place and I've actually just used one of the center lines on there. And I'm gonna use the top part of that. And since I don't think it'll cover that much, I'm just gonna leave that for the moment. If, it, um, if you wanna cut more of it, you would need to remove your leftover bits there. And we're gonna line this one up against it so it's nice and even. And probably about like that. Tape that into place. And we'll do this half. So let's get our plates back. Put that one there and we're gonna run it through. These striplets are really versatile dies. You can use them as we've shown you in other videos. Um, backgrounds, just a single feature on your cards. There's so many ideas I have to, can't wait to show you all of them. Okay, so now we're going to emboss this, but what I wanna do is leave that off the top of the uh, plate so I don't squish that embossing we've already done. And I'll just transfer the hand mat in the pink plate, carefully feed it through, and just emboss the lower part of that. Okay. And let's get the tape off of there. Popped right out again. Gently peel it back. There we go. Got a couple little pieces we have to knock out. There we 
go. So you can see how you've got a really pretty feature that uh, continues on with your border, with your um, sentiment in the center there. Now I've gone ahead and put a piece of chestnut brown card behind this with some mounting foam because I love to have that dimensional look to my cards. And I think if we do this right, we should be able to place that right over it with a nice brown border. Excuse me while I lean over a tiny bit to see if I'm nice and straight. Ah, looks good. So you can see the brown coming through there, all right? And I'm gonna add just a little floral element to that. So to do that, I'm using the chestnut brown card again and the faux quilled blooms. And I've got a couple different sizes and I've cut one of each already. We are going to tape these back down with a piece of wax paper in the center. They're very detailed, so the wax paper helps uh, to release the dye. And make sure you catch a bit of the card stock because the tape doesn't tape to the wax paper easily. So let's get our cutting plate. And we'll run this through. Check to make sure they've cut properly. That looks good. And let's just see if the pieces will all pop out there for us. Ah, oh, yes, I think we're doing just fine. And pop that out of there. Remove the wax paper. So I've got that one. And let's do the second one. And we're going to layer it up and put two sizes together for you. So let me get these poked out. And I think it will be easier if I remove the flower and there we go. Just poke out the leftover bits there. Perfect, absolutely perfect. So let's use a little Cosmic Shimmer glue and we'll layer these up. A Little bit of glue on that one and that one. That should work and we're gonna just stack these up together, the two large ones on top of each other, but offset. So you've got a pretty flower. And then we'll do these two smaller ones, but offset. And then we're going to stack them on top of each other for just a little bit extra thickness to our flower. And then I like to just kind of raise them up in the centers a little bit dimension. And I've got a, a small eight millimeter dazzler that I'm going to put in the center. This is another new product we're carrying. So pretty these are. Pop that right into place. Add a little bling to our card. And I've got just a piece of um, baker's twine that I've put together. We're going to put that on with some glue dot here. And another glue dot to finish off our flower. And there you have it, a clean and simple card for those people that don't like quite so embellished cards and it's very elegant.